I've read the entire Vim manual. It doesn't actually take as long as you think it would. It took me about a day. Here are my top five favorite pages of it. So at number five, we've got page 32, and this is the undo tree. And I like it because it gives you a lot of context into how Vim operates under the hood. It also tells you about the time traveling commands that not a lot of people know about. And it tells you about some interesting ways to jump around the undo tree and how it can take multiple complex forms. At number four, we have the die graphs page of the manual. Now this isn't entirely very mechanically useful. I just think it's very cool and it shows how well Vim was designed and thought out. And it's also something a lot of people don't know about that it has this capability. It's a little bit of a complicated thing, but the manual page isn't very long. So I would go and read that one if you wanna know more. At number three, we have Marx. Well, a lot of contemporary political philosophers will cite China and the Soviet Union as examples of communism failing. His work still remains one of the best criticisms of capitalism there is to date. At number two, we have tips.txt. This just has some great editing tips for all general Vim users. It'll just improve your editing a lot in general and give you a lot of small things that most people don't know about. And then at number one, we have index.txt, but specifically the heading Holy Grail, if you do help Holy Grail. This gives you every colon command in Vim and a brief summary of what it does. And from there, you can follow up and see if you're interested in one, what it does more. It's just the best place to get all the Vim information there is. So there you go. That's the top five.